With YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider becoming a patron today for just a dollar per month. Link below. 1985's Clue is one of the best movies from the 80s. Hands down. The three endings, uh, how they handled that originally in theaters was fantastic, where they sent out uh, different prints with different endings to different theaters, and so you never knew which ending you were going to get. And it wasn't until the home video where they were able to put all three endings on there in order to give people the full Clue experience. Now, Clue released when I was only three years old, so I never got to see it in theaters, but I've watched that movie on home video countless, countless times, and it's still just to this day an absolute gem and a classic. So... When I heard it was being rebooted, I'm not too thrilled, ultimately not too thrilled, not too happy with that. But uh, from Paul, uh, from Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick is something I'm okay with. And they said that it could be rated R. I don't know why. Although Colleen Camp, Colleen Camp in this role is still just Cleavage McGee, you know. Anyway, so in January, it was announced that 20th Century Fox had made a deal with Deadpool 2 star Ryan Reynolds to make a Clue reboot based on the Hasbro board game. Uh, this also coming from that the Hasbro Studios very much is trying to put this out there. So let's let's be realistic here. Hasbro Studios, which just dropped $500 million for basically the Power Rangers franchise, uh, is very much trying to get back into films, trying to make more money. And they're like, let's 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 do a Clue movie. Let's 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 make a game of sorry. You know, let's do all these things. Um, and now it says here that Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick uh, are currently writing the screenplay and have old, have told MTV what fans can expect from the, the new version, including an R rating. Now, here's the thing. I just I just want to point out here that I don't think that uh, that uh, that clue flan clue fans and the MTV demographic go hand in hand. I just I just don't I just don't see that being a thing. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> but. Here's what they say. Uh, don't be surprised if Clue is rated R, potentially, Wernick said. Uh, it will have elements of the original movie, but it's important that we don't try and just rehash it. We want to build on it. We want to take some of what makes it fun and funny, and then we want to do our own thing. It's about finding that balance. Hopefully we won't upset Clue hounds because there are a lot of them, apparently. We didn't realize this until we signed up. Yeah, it's been a board game. For decades. I grew up playing Clue. You know, like I grew up getting my little sheet, figuring out who was in the cards, who did it, where and with what weapon. And I still love the movie. So it's like tackling a Clue film. It just honestly, just this is going to sound really weird and, and, and it probably won't work at all anymore. But just take the script from the first movie and then just remake that. But you don't have Madeline Kahn or Christopher Lloyd or Colleen Camp or Michael McKeon, you know, <laughs> or Martin Mull uh, or Tim Curry especially Tim Curry. God damn, I love Tim Curry. Uh, you don't, you, you, the, the casting in, in, in Clue is, uh, you know, just, uh, you're just, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna recreate that. So I guess maybe don't even try on that front. But what I feel they're going to do, and this is just my, my, my thoughts on it, right? Is what they're going to do probably is they're going to end up taking the idea of Clue and turning it into something like Saw. Right. Where it's going to be like the, the different room, the different weapon, a different death. And they're going to have to try to figure out who's killing everyone. It's going to be picked off one by one sort of thing. And that's what it's going to be, because that to me feels like probably what Paul Wernick and Rhett Reese are going to be able to write. Like that's a type of the type of comedy they like is the, the very violent, gory type. I mean, look at Zombieland. Zombieland had kills of the week because it was originally based around the idea of being a TV show. Deadpool one, Deadpool two, lots of violent comedy you know, violent imagery. Uh, that's a lot of what these guys operate in. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. I, I, I like those kind of movies, but I can only really see if they want to try to, you know, like put clue on its ear and make it an R rated thing, potentially, um, that this would be the only way they could do it. Right. But then again, I just want to point out that they did try to do this with Baywatch. You know, they took, took the nineties TV show, brought in the rock, made it R rated. And while the trailer was funny, the movie, the movie wasn't the movie. The movie kind of sucked. It, it, it wasn't very good. All the funny stuff was in the trailers and it was R rated for the sake of just being R rated, but not done in a way that really helped compel the story. 
the the kind of the the noir aspect of Clue, along with the mystery and the funny characters and the funny setting and everything else, added to the comedy. The Clue worked well because it treated itself very similar to the original Ghostbusters, right? Whereas in Ghostbusters, the 2016 reboot, it wasn't treated as a straightforward film with comedic elements. It was treated as a comedy with slapstick elements, and that failed miserably on every single remarkable level to the nth degree. And Clue was very similar. It was a murder mystery with over-the-top characters that played it straight the entire time with over-the-top situations that were still played for straight and it never walked away from what it wanted to be or never tried to be anything different. And that's what made it so great. So unless they follow that same footsteps, and I, I you know, maybe not like 100%, but at least in close enough in theory or at least in, in feeling, it can be okay. But if not, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't, I'm a little bit concerned, but at the same time, I'm also, uh, I like these guys. So I'm, I'm curious to see what they bring to the table and, uh, what role Ryan Reynolds will play in it overall too.